The other day I was going through my old videos just kind of seeing what content I put out back then and I thought to myself damn I wish I knew what I know now about hairstyling back then and so in today's video we're going to be going over five hair tips that I wish I knew sooner. Before we do get into this please subscribe if you haven't already the hair videos are rolling out so make sure you're subscribed to keep up to date with those. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy or find any of the tips helpful. It lets me know that you guys like seeing these type of videos. And so without further ado, tip number one, don't wash your hair every day. Essentially, the less you shampoo, the better your hair's health is gonna be in the long run. So try rinsing your hair with just water while you're in the shower and then shampoo every two to three days. As I mentioned in one of my recent videos, dry shampoo, is your best friend when you're trying to shampoo less. Tip number two is a recent one and it's the use of hair oil. Over the past few years, I've completely neglected hair oils from my hair care routine simply because I was under the impression that they would just make my hair oily or greasy when in reality, that isn't the case in any way. On the days that I know I'm going to shampoo, I'll use a bunch of hair oil because I know it's gonna get washed out once I shampoo and it will leave me with that really nice feeling hair. On top of that, I've been using a hair oil pretty much every day. I just apply literally one or two drops um, into my hair and I found it has made such a huge difference. As long as you're consistent with it, you will notice your hair becoming so much silkier and shinier. That is something a lot of you guys have been asking and that is pretty much my secret. I just simply use a hair oil every day and uh, yeah. Tip number three that I wish I knew sooner was not to style your hair every day. Now this could be really difficult, especially if you go to school, college, work, whatever it is, and you find pride in having a good hairstyle. And if that is the case for you, more specifically, you should be trying to avoid the use of heat tools. Now surprisingly, I haven't actually made a video on hairstyles you can do without using like a blow dryer. That is something I definitely need to do. But essentially heat dries out your hair and promotes breakage, so avoid it when possible. Tip number four is possibly the most significant, at least in my opinion, and it's diet. I know I've gone over this plenty of times in my recent videos, but diet will, without a doubt, have the biggest impact on your hair's health. Implement foods into your day-to-day -day life that make you feel good, that are good for your body, and almost immediately you'll see the effects it has on your hair. Let me know in the comment section down below if you wanna see what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis. I think that could really provide a lot of value when it comes to hair growth. And tip number five that I wish I knew sooner was to experiment with as many different hairstyles as possible. And to be fair to my younger self, I did do this to an extent. I did try out a bunch of different hairstyles. I was pretty open to exploring a bunch of different looks. However, I would always end up finding myself in this comfortable bubble of like maybe one or two hairstyles that I would never want to like shift from. Since then, I've gone from the top knot, super long hair to like a cropped fringe as of last year. And now I'm kind of just growing it out, just playing around with it now. So I am still very much in the process of experiencing it and exploring it. So yeah, I guess that for me, that's what makes it fun and exciting. And hopefully you guys feel the same way. So I'm gonna bring this video to an end. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care guys, bye-bye.